All right, guys, I got the uh, Top Flight Mini Contender out. And before I bought this plane, I knew, having read some of the articles and some of the video, watching some of the videos out there on this plane, that the covering was notorious. You know, several people had said, boy, this thing has a lot of wrinkles in it. And I thought, well, you know, it's an iron-on covering. Covering a lot of them come like that. They have problems like that. So I thought, well, how bad can it be? And this one is, it's, it's got some wrinkles. <laughs> I gotta admit, uh, this one, a lot of wrinkles. So I just, just to see, you know, one of the, one of the review sites that I've read and, and watched in the past, one of the builders said, well, in this particular airplane, I just, no matter what kind of heat I applied, I could not get the wrinkles out. All right, so I had to do a freeze frame here and add a little voiceover to that comment because when I listened to that review online and, and heard the reviewer's comments about no matter how much heat I applied, I could not get the wrinkles out of this one, it almost stopped me from buying the plane, which would have been, as you'll see as I go through the video, that would have been a mistake. My backup plan after deciding just to go ahead and buy it is if I couldn't get the wrinkles out, I would strip the monocoat off and put my own monocoat back on. So anyway, that's the purpose of this particular video uh, is to show that when you have an airplane, an ARF kit that's got monocoat, that you can do a little bit of work and get it out. And this is a good, good example because the reviewer that I saw initially comment about the wrinkles in this monocoat he said that he really tried and he had a really hard time getting the wrinkles out of this airplane. So I ended up just getting out my heat gun and, and just to show you how I'm, how I'm doing this, uh, here's a side right here that's got, you can see the wrinkles in there, they're pretty good. Now I'm, all I'm gonna do is put my heat gun on low. Sorry, I gotta move a little closer to the outlet here because I'm working on the floor. But anyway, I'm gonna just put it on low and you can see this, this is the section I'm gonna work on. And my gun, let's see, it's probably about eight, eight to nine inches away. I'm just gonna put it on low, and I'm gonna work on these wrinkles. I'm just gonna aim it at the wrinkles there. The main thing with this is don't hold it in one spot too long, because this, the heat coming off this gun will burn a hole right through this stuff if you hold it for too long. But if you just kind of keep it moving around, that's all I'm doing here. Now look, it seems like this particular spot is a little stubborn. I'm gonna keep working on it and just keep kind of heating it up and then letting it shrink. And there, see when I let it, when I take the heat off and let it shrink, look at that. It just went away. So I'm gonna do the same thing up here. Like you can see on this section, I got a pretty, pretty uh, wrinkly area there. I'm just gonna hit it with some heat for a little while and let it do its work. And I'll take the heat off and see if the wrinkles go away. So, and I'm not using high heat, and I'm not getting right up against the covering. I'm just staying about six, five, six inches away. And I'm continually moving the gun, not letting it sit in any one spot for too long. Take it, take it away, and let's see what happens. All right, that did not cure the problem here. So this side, the side looks okay, but this wrinkle is still here. So I think what I'm looking for is to see if this material is stuck on here anywhere. It doesn't look like it. And that's open air, open underneath. So I think I'm gonna just try and shrink it some more. I'm gonna keep the heat medium. I don't want the I don't want the heat high. I'm gonna keep it on low, not high. Oh, there we go. Look at that. So yeah, just a little work, you know. And that's how you get the these wrinkles out. So a little more over here needs to be done, and you saw how bad that was. So I'm just gonna hit this again, medium heat. Kind of let the heat do the work. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that's pretty warm. That, that the trick is don't don't let your iron stand that too long because if you do, it is definitely going to burn a hole in it. So just keep it moving. Don't let it stay in any particular spot too long. OK, 
Okay, that particular spot looks a little stubborn, so I'm gonna pause this and I'm gonna get my iron out and see if I can get that worked out with the iron instead. I got my iron out and I set it on about two and a quarter and I just ironed. Again, same technique, right? I didn't stay in any one spot too long. I just kind of smoothed it and let the iron do its work and just kept moving. And sure enough, and those wrinkles are pretty much gone. There might be a little bit more, you know, a little bit more work to do. Like right there, I can see a couple, you know, right there probably needs a little bit of work, but I'm zoomed in pretty close right now, to be honest with you. At a, at a you know, foot away, I can barely see them and I'm looking right at it. But So the moral of the story is that Yep, this guy definitely, okay, th those wrinkles are gone now. So this one definitely had some wrinkles in it, no doubt about it. A little more than, than what you see on like the Phoenix models, and I, I don't know why that's the case, but there were more. Um, but just a little bit of work, right? Just a little bit of work, move that iron around, and just let the heat do the job, and look at the wrinkles go away. So no big deal. Now, because this is a Christmas present, <laughs> I'm not going to finish this, but I just wanted to show you, you know, and that I think the fuselage was a really good example of that. Just how bad the wrinkles were. They they needed some work, but just a little bit of effort, and uh, I got them out of there. All right, guys, I just spent maybe, I'd say probably about a half an hour just working on this monocoat on this top flight mini contender, and and it's still not perfect. You know, I still got a couple more things to deal with in there. I've done a little bit of shrinking. I still think I need to get my heat gun a little bit more. Uh, on it and do a little more ironing, but I what I what I want to show you is just how much of a difference only about a half an hour made Working on that covering. So I mean this side was completely saggy uh, when I first started This side was a little droopy the Fuselage was pretty bad. I mean you can you can see now just a half an hour with a heat gun and an iron and I've pretty much got this all smoothed out I mean, I'm with the fuselage, I would I would say that's close enough for me to start you know assembling the plane and not not worry about it. So and here's the other side, same thing. So I just put my iron, and I guess there's some talk about Monaco uh, having changed their formula and it not shrinking quite the way it used to. But all I did was I put my iron on about three, and just ironed away. And then for the open spaces, I used the heat gun, and you know kept it you know, about six inches away and put it on the medium setting and just kind of, you know, worked over the plane, just just worked it over and let the heat do its job. And it shrunk up pretty good. And again, I still got some more work to do, but compared to where I started, that, that's way, way, way better. And based on the videos that I had, had seen on this airplane, I was a little concerned. Like, you know, one of the videos, the guy said, it didn't matter how much heat I applied, I could not get the wrinkles out. Well, I didn't have the same experience. So my uh, mini contender, I have every bit of faith that I'll be able to finish, finish off getting the last remaining wrinkles out of the surfaces. And then uh, I'll get this bad boy together and go fly it. I think this is gonna be a fun airplane, judging by the looks of it and judging by the weight that I can feel and judging by that wingspan and what I know I'm got, what I've got coming in terms of a motor, I think that's gonna be a great airplane. So I look forward to flying it. Anyway, keep an eye on the channel. More to come with the build. I'll, I'll post a build review when I'm finished as I normally do. And then we'll get some video of me with the Maiden. All right, take care guys, bye-bye.